Hey creative friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, Snickers and I are outside and we're watering the garden, so I just wanted to share with you the progress that we've made. This are these are the little watermelon. These are the tiny watermelons. Like they're they're really small. They're smaller than like a basketball. They're little like kind of one serving watermelons. So they're doing okay. I was actually worried about them for a little bit, but they seem to be doing all right. And then over here, I have my squash plants, and you can see on that squash, uh, there's quite a few coming in on there, and I'm excited about it. So, I will show you some more, because I'm about ready to move on to my strawberries. Okay, here's some of my strawberries, and ooh, looky, they're doing good. I've already harvested a bunch, like I've picked a bunch of strawberries out of here already, so... They're doing pretty good down in there. Let me see if I can pull some. They look good. They're doing good. I've got those over there. And I got all four of these growing really well. I've taken the side off the plastic so that they still get the warmth um, from the sun. But also the side, this plastic here, it blocks the breeze that comes from the west over by the ocean because that's usually really cool. So the strawberries are happy. So we'll be uh, inside in just a second. Here's my rhubarb. They're doing good. Now I won't get anything off these this year because I just planted them. But uh, next year, I'm going to be excited. Be canning some rhubarb, make some rhubarb pie and jam, all kinds of the good things. All right, here we are inside. And I've got beets and Brussels sprouts right in there. And they look like they're doing really good. My lettuce spinach my tomato plant this guy should be getting tomatoes look there's just tons of little yellow flowers grouping up ready to go and you know what I was talking to somebody about getting ready for the fair and uh, it seems like the gardens are about a month behind this year it's like we're worried if anybody's gonna really be able to uh, put anything in the entries because the gardens just seem to be taking so long this year. They're just not growing. Ooh, look at my, my tomatillos on there. See that? Ooh, those are coming along. My cucumbers that I just planted over here are taking hold. See, right there. I had some and they did not grow, so I had to plant some new ones and they seem to be doing all right. But, I don't know. I'm worried about how long it's taking gardens. My beets will be fine because they, they can just keep going. Uh, Carrots are doing good. This tomatoes guy is doing good. My little herb garden. I love my little herb section right over there. See it? Looks good. But, got a tomato plant back there in a container. See how that one's doing? It's getting some blooms on it. And my mint pot is doing good. So, there you have it. My little garden. Oh! I was going to tell you guys, I said one time in a video, I have to tell you about the story on that wagon. So we went to one of our little high schools, does uh, an auction every year for their senior class. And it's like a big spaghetti feed in an auction. And uh, stores donate and people bet on the things. Well, this wagon, I wanted a wagon for my yard to pull my stuff around in. And this is a nice one. It's got great big wide tires and everything. So they brought this up. It was donated by one of our little hardware stores. They brought it up and I bid on it. And then he says, okay, I think it's like 20 bucks. And he goes, all right, I got 20 bucks. Do I have like 25? And I'm looking around. I was so afraid that someone was going to get that. I bid again. And he goes, all right, so I got 25. Do I have 30? And I'm like, I got, <laughs> I got myself up to like 50 bucks. It's fine. It was for a good cause. But finally, the auctioneer looked at my husband and says, I is she just going to keep doing that? <laughs> so anyway, there's my, my $50 I've outbid myself wagon. Anyway, I love it. I use it for all kinds of stuff, and it was totally worth the 50 bucks that I spent on it. So anyway, I'm going to keep, uh, keep watering my garden for a little bit, and then I'm going inside, and we're doing something. Brian's going to make something for our Jamboree collaboration, which I'm excited about in August. And there's some good stuff coming up with that. And I got my pork so that Brian can can pork in three different uh, recipes. So that'll be exciting. So there you go. It's a, a, it's a busy day today. 
and we'll make some videos out of it. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.